God, don't do it. Okay. Oh, oh, hi. So I pressed record. Okay, ready? Ready? Go. Okay. Oh, damn it. I had it. Theme, 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 song. Theme, 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 song. Theme, 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 theme. Theme song. Ah. And the crowd goes wild. Boom. Happy 4th. Fourth. fourth of July. Welcome to When Wife Gives You Lemons. I'm going to fix this. This is driving me a little bit bad here. We're supposed to fix things before we press record. I didn't know you were out of control. I was. I told you I, everything was limp. She's you limp. Just, you wouldn't listen. And she's see, limp. You're, she's you're, in my head. Well, not usually. I don't have to touch all this, but I don't know what's happening right now. Are we good? Yeah. Hey, Joy. Hi, Hi. honey. How are you? I'm okay, John. You've been ignoring me all day. It's the fourth of you lie, and you just you lie. Don't lie. You were building a puzzle. Do you have any notes? No. Do I ever? Do you have a note? No. (laughs) That's all I got. Do you got a note? I don't think I have any notes. This could be the shortest episode in history. We might have to do it tomorrow. We have to think. No, I don't want to do it tomorrow. I want to do it tonight. So stop. Well, you've been drinking. I've been drinking. You got a little buzz going. I do not. I'm fine. (laughs) Everybody heard your theme song. It was so good. Happy 4th of July to the people who are enjoying their barbecues and their day. This used to be my favorite holiday. All it's right, not, let's not take it to politics. I'm not taking it to politics. Just Well, one, we don't have any family to celebrate it with either, so fuck all that. That's Remember true. last, not last 4th of July, but the 4th of July before that when we had the earthquake? Oh, when we were sitting at the parade. Uh-huh. And they had the parade again. I know. I bet it it sucked just as much as it always does. No, no. I liked the parade, so don't be mean. Stop it. What's the difference between a parade and a protest? People aren't getting violent. I don't I just I don't know. People get all stupid and violent most of the time in protests. Somebody does and because somebody please. pretends to be so passionate about something they don't know anything. Oh about. right. You just said we get politics and you're I getting all politics. Well stop it. Okay. John from? keeps trying to buy me another dog. I don't know if no, you guys were around. I have not tried to buy any dogs. And I almost stole a chicken. Oh, I do have stuff to talk about. Okay. <laughs> so I do my morning walk, right? And I get up super early, right? And on the corner house by where we live, there's this mama hen who has all these little baby chicks. And they are so fluffy. I mean, they're... They are fluffy, and they're so cute. And every time I walk by, I'm like, they won't miss one. (laughs) The mom would be, yeah, it's like, you know, I wonder if that's what kidnappers think. They're like, you know, the mom won't miss one. She's got three there. (laughs) But they're so cute. Uh, And there's one, okay. The baby was cute. There's one that's, like, really independent, so he's never around the other ones, and that one I call kidnap, because that's the one that wants to. That's its name. Its name is kidnap. That's out of control. Okay, you want to hear something awful? And this person listens, so I'm sorry. But, She's not sorry. <laughs> but, so they have a dog, right? Okay. Okay, so let's just say their dog's name is Fluffy. Their dog's name is Fluffy. Whoa. Somebody drove by with a pretty loud stereo. Okay, so let's just say the dog's name is Fluffy for just to keep everybody in the dark. Okay, so... To keep everyone in the <laughs> dark on who this is, because everybody's going to know who it is. Well, she's per- going to on- know who it is. She's the I'm only also- one who's going to know who it is. I also told her husband this a long time ago, so it's okay. Like, this is this is okay. This is an old one. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So they got a dog, right? And I'm like, what'd you name the dog? And they were like, we named it Fluffy. And I was like, wait, wasn't Fluffy the dog's mom's name? And they were like, yeah. 
And I go, do you know how fucked up that is? That like the first week that that dog was home and they're all fluffy and it's all, where's my mom? And then it's like, there's no mom. That's kind of fucked up. Why would you name the dog that? Hey, what's wrong with you, lady? (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen. I don't know you. They're ho- good. You, yeah, you do. You know might them. be great people. You do know them, and and that's okay. That's okay. It's but okay. you named your dog weird. Well, I just don't understand. Like, but I mean, I'm I mean na- that was pure love. I'm named after your mom. I almost said I'm named after your dog. You were named after my mom. I'm named that's kind of yeah. I guess that's weirder, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you win. I guess right back on me. So I guess I'm the weirder one. Take that. You can't say my name during sex, can you? No. You never have said my name during sex. No, why would I? I, I, Why would I want to say mom? (laughs) (laughs) That shit was funny. (laughs) (laughs) It's gross. Uh, That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, I I thought I had notes, but I don't have notes. Let's see what happened. Um, Caleb... Oh, our middle son got a job. Go to Magic Mountain. He's right operator. Don't ride that ride. No, stop. I hate when Don't people. Ride that I hate ride. when people. Okay, you know one of the things when he like, gets a license and they're yes. like, "Get off the roads, dude." You don't know how roads aren't safe. I know how our kid's going to drive. He's going to drive 10 miles an hour below the speed limit. <laughs> yes, he will. He's going to make complete stops yes. at everything, and he's, and he's gonna probably going to pull over and let people go by him. Yes, our oldest drives like an asshole. Yeah, that's my fault. I'm and I'm a little nervous because I think he's driving me on Thursday. I think I'm going with him. Just he's got another modeling gig. Explain to him that how you are and you must deal. I think you should explain it to right, him. Just explain that. He'll just be like, listen, mom, Calm it, your shit. <laughs> mom is a black belt in karate. She does martial arts. So she's really good at the brake kick and she's really good at the stop chop. So, and she's going to kick your ass. Yeah. Maybe I should drive. I don't know. Drive his car? No. Drive your car. Huh? Huh? Wait, just drive. Oh, and I'm getting a tattoo. I don't know what I'm going to get, though. Okay. Okay. So, I have ideas. Okay. For my tattoo. Speak them. Okay. I was thinking about getting Must. a quote, unquote. I'm I feel an, like I'm not. You know, chuk, 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 chuk. I feel like I'm not working. No, you're working. I can feel you. Okay. I can feel you fine. <laughs> okay. So I was thinking about quotation marks because I'm a writer, and it says it's and dialogue. It says, Duh. No, it's just. Oh. Di- <laughs> you let me talk. Yeah. I need to drink more. I'm drinking. I haven't drank since. No, that's a lie. I really haven't drank since February 19th, but I did have a jello shot on June 9th, 11th. You son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. You lied. I'm not a good liar. Um, then I was thinking about getting the word surrender. There was something on my hat the whole time. You uh-huh. didn't say anything. It's Why still there, you, too. <laughs> didn't you say something? I don't know. I thought you were getting it when you put it on. What the hell? Why aren't you saying stuff to me? Is it still there? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come here. No, I don't Let trust me get you. it. No, it's in the middle. It's like smack dab in the middle. Yeah, no, you didn't get it. Okay, this is boring. This is stupid. You're stupid. Is my I mean, I shouldn't out? say. No, your hat is fine. <laughs> but now I can't talk to you because now every time I talk, you're going to think I'm lying. So. Is there a booger hanging out of my nose right now? No, do I have a booger in my yeah. nose? Yeah. You want to eat it? Okay. So what should we do right now? <laughs> um, we have the 4th of July. Um, we used to... They we used didn't. to be a parade. It used to be my favorite thing. Santa would be in the parade, and the kids about, would all have to... Uh, yes. Tell that story. I don't know. I was going to say, how about that story I was telling you about earlier, about that lady who was telling the teachers to have their kids stop being so loud in the neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, she was an asshole. No, I thought you were going to tell the the parade story. story. Which one? We have a friend who had a very young son at the moment. The the fire fox? Yeah, and he was was so excited. He loved fire trucks. And every time they'd come, he'd be all, It's a fire fox! It's another fire fox! Dude, that was pretty funny because he'd start screaming fire fox. And then I kept making him say it. And then I have a friend. I've told the story already, but she has it on video. It's 
fucking hilarious. It was when her son was super little. They went to the zoo. And she goes, hey, Fluffy, what was your favorite animal at the zoo? And he goes, the fucking Mingos. And she goes, hold on. So she gets her phone out and she's recording them. And she's like, hey, say it again, say it again. Fluffy, what was your favorite? And he's all, the fucking Mingos, mommy. I like the fucking Mingos. So don't you have any insanity? I mean, your parents are wildish. Yeah. So get something out. I mean, your dad is your dad's legendary on this show already. <laughs> Don't you got anything? I remember being a kid, and my dad and his friends. He, I mean, this is so long ago. He still drank. Oh shit! Yeah, this is like probably nineteen seventies, late seventies, early seven, mid. I mean, mid late seventies. I think I should stop drinking. And we had a this guy parked his little tiny like Triumph car. It was like one of the little cars. Okay. Out in front of the house, like out in front of the driveway, kind of. My my dad and his buddies got pissed because we were all kind of hanging out and partying right there when we were just little kids riding bikes. But so him and like four of his buddies went over and picked the car up and then carried it and put it between a wall and a little tiny post. <laughs> and then they all got their chairs and sat around, sat next to the like like twenty feet away with their ice chest and drinking beers and waited for the guy. <laughs> and then he showed up and he looked at them and he looked at the car and he realized he was a dick. And then he got in the car and had to do like Austin Powers. <laughs> and it took him like a half an hour to get out. He should have been like, can you guys just pick my car up and get in? And no, it? they just sat there. He, was, he, he didn't say nothing to him. <laughs> do you remember when I got out of the Austin Power night? Yes. At the comedy store and someone double parked me. And I was yes. like, it took me like five or ten minutes to get out. And I finally but did it. But you did it. That shit was awesome. You made me get out and like tell you where to go. And I have no spatial... Awareness whatsoever. I have no spatial. I have no spatial I didn't know that awareness. Was, is that like a facial spatial? I'm shooting a spatial. No spatial awareness. That's, spatial's not a real word. It is. So like I... Scrabble? I, Scrabble, sp- please. Spatial. Scrabble. <laughs> you haven't been drinking. I have... Don't, don't, don't harsh my buzz. I'm gonna take my buzz away. Oh my God, I'm going to take a spatial. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot it all over me! Bing, 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 bing! <laughs> I wow. spatialed you. I didn't know it had a sound. <laughs> yeah, because it's the. <laughs> it's like metal or what? Pew, pew, pew! Oh, there is. Okay, we were in Hobby Lobby because John made me buy a puzzle because I've been into puzzles, but John doesn't want to, or Brody doesn't want to do puzzles with me anymore, so I don't want to do puzzles anymore, and I need to write my next book instead of fucking doing these puzzles. I know, and you're lazy. I'm the laziest person in the world. Um, So, anyways, we're John and Brody are looking at these model car thingies, majiggies, and I'm looking at these puzzles. But right next to it is this little. It's called a tornado in a tube, and you swirl it, and it makes a tornado inside the tube. And I thought John was next to me, and I'm fucking just. And I look over and it's not John. And I go, oh my God, I was just jerking this thing off and I thought you were John. <laughs> and, and I was standing on the other side watching all of this. And this guy, the look this guy gave you was like, and he looked at me and he kind of grinned, but like, it was like, what the? And, and we're in Hobby Lobby, so you know he was a guy from Jesus Guy. Yeah, yeah. You should not take, I should not be allowed in Hobby Lobby. No, it's fun. It is fun. I like going into Hobby Lobby. I do too. They, they have got fun st- stuff. I just think they're too Jesusy. That's they all. have a. St- they that's have their store. They have stuff for like a new fairy garden. Then I'm going to build in your rock crawler garden. So that was fun. So I jerked something off in front of somebody. That was pretty funny. There's something else about jerking off too. I don't know. I can't remember. I was massaging someone and jerking off came up. Whoa. What? Not like that. I don't, there stop. were like an extra 50, and you're like, okay, let me put some gloves on. <laughs> would I have to wear gloves? Well, I would I would want you to. Yeah? I mean, if, if you were doing it, I think I'd have to have you wear gloves. What kind of gloves? Like the Well, they could the be the latex one. Gloves? I just don't want you to. I just don't want their fucking bear Peter on your hand. You know, somebody asked me if you have a problem with me touching so many naked people. Not really. Did because, it, because I know you're professional. I know you. 
if I was married now, now say okay, hypothetically, oh. I was still married to my ex-wife and she had your profession. Yes, I would be very concerned all the time, hundred percent. I could see that. I, I don't bother because I know you. I trust you. I have full faith in you. Plus, I'm not bringing home enough for me to be doing anything. If I started bringing home more, would you be like, Joy, we need to have a conversation? I'd be like, why are you keep asking me for bringing home gloves? <laughs> why do you say your elbow hurts all the time? Well, my elbows do hurt. My all elbow the- has been hurting. I know. Because I've been disc golfing a lot, and it's not. it's been a little sore. But his Peter's okay. And my, my Peter's getting better. Sore. Sore Peter. Yeah, but I'll go through it in the morning. I'll try again. I know. And then I'll... I'll you know what? At one point, I'm going to kidnap one of those little chicks. No. Yes. You're not going to kidnap anything. Oh, my God, John. They're so You don't cute. want a chicken. I do. You don't have a chicken coop. Oh, my God. And then I tried we to take... We have no chicken coop. Sh- Where's this chicken going to be at night? Wherever you build a chicken coop. <laughs> Duh. Stupid questions get stupid answers. Anyway. Where is the chicken coop going to go? Where I'm cutting down my peach tree. Okay. So but sh- where's the shed going to go? Where? Okay. We'll cut down the pear tree. We'll have a hen in a pear tree. <laughs> okay. A so listen. In a pear tree. That's Christmas. I already did the theme. theme. I'll do it again. Don't anyway. do it. So I was doing my walk. Right. Uh. Doing my walk. And the mom was sitting on like a wood thingy, and one of the baby chicks was standing on top of her like a fucking lookout. And I was like, "Well, shit, that's kidnap and lookout." I was like, "Fuck, I'll just." See, so have kidnap and lookout. I have kidnap and lookout. One's so you, black and one's yellow. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, and then happy birthday, baby Jameson. Uh, my youngest nephew turned Uno on the Uno. Happy birthday, baby. We'll get to go see him at the end of the month. Yay, because John's going to do windows. Do the windows. I'm going to help your brother do windows. Do the wall. Yeah, right. You're going to be doing them all. It was, it down. It's not that hard. Your brother's smart. It's easy. I'll be able to turn them loose. On, do you remember when we'll I We'll do t- one together, and we should be able to turn, turn loose and do each do some of the littler ones. We should be able to knock that thing out in a few hours. Do you remember when you didn't know what skeet meant, and I had to teach you? Well, I was old, okay? Do you remember when I said, pop your cherry? The cop was popping his cherry. No, I knew that one. No. No, and no. I can tell you when I learned that one. I can tell you the night I learned that one, and you're going to hate it. Because well, I learned it from my ex-wife. Okay, well then you're a liar. Because when I said it, you go, oh shit, I've never heard that before. I've never heard you say that before is what I said. No. Yes. Yes, because I have because the ex-wife, we were in Virginia driving. She was she, with you in Virginia? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, she came out at one point for like a couple of weeks or some shit. You traveled with her. No, she was pregnant with fucking the kid the grumpy one mm-hmm. oh he's so grumpy oh um yeah what else i have more but i just can't think i drank i drank i shouldn't have drank but i drank i'm gonna go take some liquid iv right now today and probably tomorrow to hydrate i should probably stop drinking what i'm drinking right now. yeah We're, we'll call it quick tonight too this is just a, sh- a shorty tonight because of the holiday so can like, i do it what Holiday. Celebrate. <laughs> Who am I from? What am I from? Wedding singer. You're so smart. The wedding singer. Duh. You can be so nice. I sound just like him. <laughs> I'm so good. Did you just say I'm so good? Whoa, did you hear that? That was my throat. I heard that. That came out of you? That was my throat. That was weird. Oh, right, can sh- you do that again? No, it was like a... You know how like... You- can you swallow air? Yeah. Do it. I didn't hear nothing. Can you make it like... No. Like that? Uh, it makes me burp. That's and gross. I don't want to burp. That's gross. You're gross. That's all lady like. I'll queef, but I'm not going to burp. <laughs> I will stand up and just queef everywhere. <laughs> uh, stupid. Oh, 
I can't tell you who the source is. So juicy. But I was massaging someone this week, and they had went on vacation somewhere hot. They had golf courses. and I think I got an idea. And they were playing golf, and then they have a daughter, and the daughter was like, Dad, like, golf courses are bad for the environment, because you know how kids tell us all this shit not like really they're a bunch of green green it, water it, they you know and they take up space uh, and that was the one i swallowed that was excuse, excuse me, me. Uh, excuse me so anyway she was like dad it's just really bad and you know they were in the environment and he goes well fluffy where would all the rich people go then and he was like you can use that in your your comedy <laughs> Like, where, where does all the rich people go then? Where would all the rich people go if there was no golf courses? Oh God, I bet he just laughed. He thought he was just, he was like, I should go on stage. He's like, dude, I would crush. <laughs> I would crush at the country club. <laughs> hey, can I go to an open mic with you? I want to crush. I'm going to crush. I'm going to crush. I'm going to tell him about the time I accidentally mispronounced whiskey. That was really, really expensive. I'm going to tell him my rich people golf joke. And then there's one more that he says that. I'm going to need those back that I told you you could use. (laughs) (laughs) That is, I need to just make a list. Oh, my God, you should. And you should do them for him. No, I should make a list of. All the bad jokes that he gave not And just him. Everyone, you can use that if you want. Oh my god, you could make that a bathroom. Oh reader. my god! Or I had one lady. She's like, "You need to make that a skit." I'm like, eh, eh, eh. It's a bit, but she's like, "You need to make that a skit." Scat. Scat, scat play. play. Have you ever scat played? No, I'm not into that stuff. That's kind of nasty. Have you ever had anybody pee on you? No. Why you want to pee on me? <laughs> if I peed on you, I would laugh. I wouldn't even, my knees would give out. I'm not going to lie. It would be like when you let me hold your penis to pee. <laughs> and you laugh too hard. And, and then I anything. giggle, and then you get mad at me because it goes everywhere. I have to take control again. And then he does, he takes it from me. Well, because you're peeing on everything. A fucking and then you yell at me because you say I'm holding it too hard. Well, yeah, you're and like think it's gonna like you think it's gonna push out like 75 pounds of pressure. It's like just putting out a few. Your pounds. cum does. 24 miles an hour. That's a lot. I know. I heard, like, I heard it smash the pillow a couple times. <laughs> at the hotel. It's all bam. You're like, oh my god, did somebody just get shot? <laughs> are you? I'm the one drinking. Why are you laughing? Sorry, that wasn't funny. It was funny. No, it wasn't funny. Now I'm gonna. I, I can see your penis in those shorts. Don't show everybody my <laughs> ween. Sorry, it's just like when you made. Me, screw you! It's when you made me look. look I'm at, in my fat shirt. You made me look at Uncle Uncle Cletus, Uncle Jed. Oh my Uncle God, Jed? Jed Clampett. Yes, dude, that would tell me fucking old Jeb Clampett wasn't <laughs> fucking swinging a monster in there. He definitely was commando. He was commando. He had a seat. It was an old Beverly Hillbillies. There was Hillbillies, no And he had to, and Jed, Jed Clampett like turns around and like does like, an, like a, a jig. jiggle like dance <laughs> thing. Like this little fucking hillbilly dance thing. He said jiggle. And, and, and you can see his fucking little, well, I wouldn't say it was little, but you can see no. this little fucking monster fucking little baby's arm swinging around in there. I was like, what in the fuck is that? I go, is Joy, it- did you see that? And she lo- I made her look at Clampett's Peter. It it it, it, it he danced. struck gold. He struck gold with that thing too. <laughs> he was all hur, hur. he used to rearrange some fallopian tubes too. I know. By the, the way, feeling, I guys. took that. I know the feeling. Me and fucking Jed. Do you realize last place. week you stood up and pointed at the camera? The camera. Fuck yeah, I did. And I isolated that and put that as a TikTok. That's just funny. <laughs> I should stop drinking this. Woo. Because I got fucking legend champion status for a moment there. I had to fucking jump on that shit while I could. Cocky. <laughs> cocky. Cocky talk. I told you about the lady who trademarked the word cocky, right? 
Felina yeah. Hopkins. Was that was that the lady in the uh, the author lady or something? Mm-hmm. That, and it was a big old to do because she's yeah. like, you can't use the word cocky in your book. Yeah, started sending cease and desist letters to. Yeah, somebody should slap that bitch. Well, we did a cocky gate. We all signed a petition. Well, whoever the judge was that actually agreed to allow her. Okay, because here's the thing. It wasn't as if she Selfish just. Bitch. It wasn't as if she just trademarked the word cocky in a specific font. That's fine. Like, you know, like Disney has a Disney font. Like if you just have like a specific font and that is your font and you don't want anybody else using it, you trademark that. That's cool. But she didn't just trade. And like, you know, like Harry she Potter. She tried to trademark the word. She did. Like she was worldwide. Grand- worldwide, you were not allowed to use the word cocky on your covers. So it could not be in your title. Right. So you could be in, an, in like right now we could be talking and say cocky and she could be like, oh, no, 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 no. No, it could only be if I write a wrote a book that had Cocky John on it or something. <laughs> Who's Cocky? Cocky John. What do you need to be I rearranged? Don't know why my... Do you need to be rearranged again? No, yes, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Anyway, so no, if you you couldn't use it on the title. So what she was doing is because she. I think she had a rich husband or she was a trust fund. Somehow she had a lot of money. So what she was doing is these poor authors. And when I say poor, I mean P-O-O-R, like indie authors. Also poor as, but poor both ways out of this. Right. And so she, what she would do is she would send them cease and desist letters. And these women were like, dude, I can't afford to either fight this or I can't afford to get a new cover with a new title on it and go through all the Amazon channels to do that. So these people were like basically going to have to remove their books completely. Right. So did this lady get blackballed? Yes, Felina Hopkins. I have no problem saying her name. She, she was got blackballed? Asshole. Yes. Good. Fuck so her. then there was another author. Fuck you, douchebag. That I don't know. Like, What is that song? She talks to angels. Trademark the color blue. Some lady tried to trademark the color blue, and one of the I don't know who these judges are, fucking crazy, almost allowed her to trademark the color blue, and then we would have had to take them off of blue all of our titles. That's stupid. It's just ridiculous. Like every time people are greedy, they all ev- want to make a dollar off of everybody else and not do any other work. And then it sucks. Like, there's fuck you, bitch. There is another author. I hate people. This is why I have no faith in humanity. Well, it's just hard because like. It sucks. I literally have no faith in there's, humanity. There's. Stop. I don't. Humanity's Because fine. of this We're stuff. Fine. It's just. No, it's just. It's not nuked. all people. We should be nude. We should be nuked. I thought you said we should be nude. Well, like, you know what? Maybe. I look good. Except Maybe I ate help. a lot today. So. Maybe it'll help. <laughs> um. Raspberry Hades Yeah, song. that was gross. I'm sorry. Um, and then there is another lady, which really stinks, because I want to support indie authors so much. Well, you can. But there's always drama in the indie author world. Always. Never fails. And it's, no, it's not like... There is some inconsequential drama, I get. But then there's like... There's really big drama. Like somebody trademarked the word cock, cocky. Right. Something stupid. I mean, and that's monumental. Right. Well, there's another lady, and her book is actually becoming a. Well, we're trying to get it blackballed because she is a racist, fat shaming, just really bad person. And her book somehow is getting made into a movie. But all these authors petitioned the people who were supposed to be the actors, and we're like, hey, we're not going to watch you or any other movie that you do if you do this. And a lot of the actors pulled out. And I think the director pulled out too. Wow, good. So our Maybe little indie authors were, were mighty. We're strong and mighty. And I don't even know if I can call myself an indie author because I haven't wrote in a couple months. That's <sighs> not true. You wrote like last week. You started writing that stupid damn thing. Remember? No. You were taking all your notes for the damn. Uh-huh. You have another book that's basically done. I have so many books that are basically done. Well. Get off your lazy ass and do something, woman. I'm lazy. I worked out and I walked today and then I ate. How many books so did many. you write? How many books have you written? All of them. <laughs> you know what's funny is I think if you would author a book that I wrote, it would go really well because women fucking love you. Let's do it. 
Let's crush one. Let's crush it. Let's take it. We'll share tables. We'll talk smack to everybody. You left me in Phoenix, and I took an edible because I couldn't drink. And then you left, and people were talking to me, and I had to be normal. You did great. I didn't. You sold 21 books. You oh, did yeah. fine. But it was hard. And then I you even. You sold more books than anybody else. I even told much. the models to go find. I was like, go find John. I'm all, he left me. And then I was like, wait, one of you go find John. One of you stay with me. <laughs> I you was were like, fine. I need one. It, uh, it was, it wasn't fine, but whatever. It wasn't like an edible, edible. It was a gummy. Like I wasn't like high. You weren't wrecked. No, I don't get wrecked. This is as wrecked as I've ever been. That's not, not ever. true. That's not true. I've seen you fall over. That's true. On a bike. On 4th of July. I've seen you fall over on bicycles. I've seen you fall over. It happens. You know my favorite drunk story? Hmm. Is when I went with Jamie, your little sister, who's older than me. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Damn, that's messed good. up. And we went out with her sister-in-laws, and those chicks can drink, because they were born with tequila in their bottles, I guess. And I, I didn't try to keep up with him because I know I'm a lightweight. So I was like, whatever, you girls go. But I did Overdo. underpace them, but I overpaced Joy. You overshot the landing. <laughs> Hard. And I remember it was, we went, we were at the Alamo and those raspberry margaritas. If you guys are anywhere near Santa Clarita, I highly suggest the raspberry margaritas. They will... Anyway, so we went there, and then we went to TGI Fridays, and Jamie's one of Jamie's sister in law was like, I was like, hey, I can't drink anymore, and she's like, oh, I'll get you something that doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it. And I was like, okay, so she handed me something, and I remember tasting it, and I remember it being really good. And I halfway through, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And she's like, oh, it's a Long Island iced tea. And I was like, I think, I think. I need to go. So I went in the bathroom and I tried to convince myself to puke. And then your sister came in and she's like, are you okay? And I was like, I just tried to puke. So she's like, okay. And then she left me. (laughs) And then she left you. She left me. She's like, all right. See you later. I, I couldn't puke. So then I was like, I came back out and I was like, I need to go home. Now somewhere in between something happened and I will explain this at the end. So I got into the Suburban. One of Jamie's other sister-in-laws was driving, and she turned up the heater because one of them was like, I'm hot, and that heat hit me. So I stumbled out, and I puked in the bushes right in front of TJI Fridays. Like, it was gross. Good puke, too. It was gross. And I remember getting... You fed the plant. Oh, I gave them so much nutrition. And acid. (laughs) So then we get... they They drive me home first, I think. And I remember coming home and you were asleep in bed and I remember falling on the bed face first and just, I'm pretty sure I had alcohol poisoning. Probably. But the worst part is when I went to the Alamo, I was wearing a pair of Nikes. When I woke up in the morning, I was wearing a pair of Crocs. So you got your shoes robbed? I don't know. They're like, hey. And it was like the first time they met you. They're like, let's take this little white girl's shoes. <laughs> well, they were calling me their white, and I was calling them my browns, which really should not have been good at all. But they were, they're Hispanic, and they laughed, and they kept petting me on the head and calling me their white. And I was so dr- I don't, I think I changed them in the bathroom. When I was trying, yeah, to but pee. where happened? What happened to yours? I think I gave them to someone, and you never found them again. No, no, they were gone. I woke up with Crocs, and they woke up with Nikes. So I. <laughs> That's so weird. Somebody I... straight stole your shoes. Is what happened. They were like, "I like these Nikes. I'm gonna take them." And she's no, I, I almost vaguely remember having a conversation. And I kind of think I asked, like, "Hey, I've heard those are comfortable. Are they comfortable?" And then I think we switched. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> and then I think I walked away with their shoes, and then they walked away with their shoes. Jesus. But I woke up with a pair of Crocs, and I've never owned Crocs in my that life. fantastic. So that that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. 
Cheers. Let's end it on that. Cheers, motherfuckers. I'm probably going to post this on July 5th, just letting y'all know. Right on. Um, Goodbye. Lick clit surprise. Good day. Oh, also, uh, we needed some... Uh, uh, our AC was acting a little weird the other day. We called up our buddy from Draper Air. They came right out and kicked ass. So call Draper Air. They're awesome. Look them up on the internet, Facebook. They're all everywhere. They're I always there. plug them when somebody's like, do you know anybody from my AC that does AC? I'm like, I do. Yeah. And yeah, we don't get nothing from them. We do it out, you know, because they're awesome to us. Um, so we appreciate and that. And their kids are really cool, too. And then finally. Oh. We have sponsors. No. Finally, I just wanted to say. To my buddy to hang in there. Uh, we love you. You know who you are. Yeah. Oh, we do love you. We love you. We care about you. Uh, I, uh, I just, I just want want you to do good and be be good, better, man. I miss you. I love you. We'll talk to you later. All right. Good day. Damn, you're gonna have to press the end buttons. I don't know how. Oh my god, it's red. It's the big. Red. That doesn't do anything for me, lady.